Good morning, folks. It is 3.30 a.m. Saturday morning, and I am on my way to Kentucky Lake fishing a BFL. Drew Robert Wade, he's actually my neighbor. Very interesting. Only fished with him one time, just fun fishing. We talked about fishing, so never made it happen. Today, we're gonna do it in a tournament. So I got a two hour and 15 minute drive. Meeting him at 6.15. We're gonna fish till from seven to three. Boat number 20 something. Uh, sounds like we're gonna be covering some water shallow. You know, it's that time of year, water temps are gonna be in the mid 50s, lake stained, pulling a lot of current, pulling over 200,000. So we'll go out there and see what happens. I gotta get the truck fired up and get on the road. A little bit tired, had a short night, but uh, we'll pull it off, did a little stretching, got a big old bowl of oatmeal. So I'm good, man. I'm good. We're going to go out there and have some fun, see if we can catch some fish. See you at the lake. Yeah, we're here. Boat check right now. Let me call you back here in just a second. 21. Robert? Yep. Okay. Good morning, folks. Out here on Kentucky Lake, we got the first tournament in the LBL division of the BFLs. I drew Robert Wade. Oddly enough, he lives right down the street from me. So when I got the text last night, I'm like, I know this guy. This is going to be easy. <laughs> Lake's fishing tough, supposedly. Um, we're going to have highs in the 70s. The wind is supposed to blow. Pulling a lot of current out here. Got some stain conditions, but we're just gonna go out, have fun, try to put a few fish in the boat, make a day of it, get there and back safe. And I truly, how many how many boats did you say? 146. 146, and we're about 21, right? 21. So we're about 15 minutes away from start. Fishing seven to three. So here we go. Hey, give me a like if you appreciate the content, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's go catch some fish. Fish? Yep. Come on, buddy. Two. There you go. Good job, man. Put it down. I got you. Go ahead and put it down. Okay. Thank you. Is this smallmouth? Yeah. yeah. Huh. It's hard to tell. He's so light. They're just coming up. The ones I caught yesterday, Gabe. We're actually out on the main lake on the bank. Yeah. And they were cold. Nice. Oh yeah.
Fertig? Ja, stecken. Das ist heavy, huh? There he is. Yeah. It's a little one, little one, little one, little one. Uh, he was just kind of out off the bank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rubber ducky. Little rubber ducky. Damn. Nice. <laughs> right at the boat, huh? Good job, bro. Got two? That was crazy. I'm pretty sure he is. He's 15 for sure. Nice. Nice. That one's got some color to him. Yeah. Up there shallow, man. Yep. Wow. Yep. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Broke my line. Oh. Oh. Two feet of water. <laughs> Nice one. Oh yeah, that's, that's a small mouth. Damn dude, that's a good one. Oh, oh this is a nice one. Oh man, he is dolphin. There you go. Good work. Dude, starting to put something together. Go ahead and put it down. Go back fishing. Get you one. Get you one. Good job, man. He ate it. Oh. He wanted it. I think he wanted that one. Don't you? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Lord, I hope I don't kill you. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to do this. Is it all the way down his throat? Oh, yeah.
Another one. <laughs> yeah. Got a bite. Off that little post. Hmm. That's not gonna help. No. At least it woke me up. Small mouth. All right, folks, midday report it is one o'clock. We have two hours left, zero for me. I've caught two fish. I broke one off that I saw. It was definitely over first thing in the morning. Robert has three smallmouth in the boat and he's caught exactly three fish. So every time he swings, he gets a keeper. It's tough out here. Not a lot of fish to be caught. We're just bouncing around, fishing shallow. It's covering water, throwing moving baits. So two more hours, hopefully I can snag one. Oh, Jesus. I was going for oh, you. Oh, God, gave that hit. And I'm like, there it is. <laughs> I was going for I was reaching for the net. <laughs> oh, because I mean, that like just hit boom and just stopped. I'm like, oh. I think I just had a bite too. Yep. Little one, little one. God. I got it. I got it. I got it. <sighs> Man, I thought that was going to be it. I'm like, keep my head down, focus. Oh. Fish. Another little one. Those things work pretty good. Yeah. All small mouse. There you go. That's the good one. You need two more like that. Yeah. Hey. Oh, man. Good job. Alright, made it please. Alright. Uncle Courtney, two bass fishing as a co-angler. Paducah, Kentucky. Uncle's got two bass. Five pounds and seven ounces. Michael Kirk in fourth place with five seven. Jeremy, Sasharel. Got three bass, fifteen as a co angler. What's up, buddy? Hey man, good job, dude. Thank you. Good Michael Courtney, I'm following your channel. Oh, Gabe Montgomery, it's good to meet you. Congratulations. Did you catch any? No, man. I broke one off. Six pounds that and I saw. three ounces. It was an over. That was it. I caught a couple small fish. Yeah. We had a couple small too, a couple keepers, and I had one break me off. Yeah. 
My boater got three small mouth. Three bass. That's him right there. Jackson, Missouri. Eight pounds and ten ounces. Eight nice. Pounds. Thank you, sir. I guess seven. That's a lot, a lot better than yeah. what I thought. Hey, man, good to meet you. You too, man. Three okay. boaters got four bass. One shot of a tournament limit. One of our pro circuit fishermen. Was four away, eight pounds and twelve ounces, eight, twelve, three currently. It's more than I thought. That was more than I thought. Eight ten. Oh, you're gonna be the star of the video. You another one? Here we go, folks. That's what they're eating right there. See how that shark truce is on the pincher there? If you guys can see that. That's why it's not a bad idea to tip your uh, pinchers on your crawl with a little bit of shark truce, spike it. Mm. Man, I'm tired, folks. Long drive, long day. Left the house about 3.45 this morning. Tournament started 7, 7 to 3. We were boat number 21. Got back home about, it's like 6.30. Just got in the house. Tough tournament, man. Um, so here's, let me break down kind of what we did. Robert was a great boater. He had got on a shallow cranking pattern. So that's basically what we did. We ran shallow, flat pockets. He was throwing uh, like a 1.5 and then throwing a trap and just fishing the boat. Most of the time the boat was in like five, six foot of water and just fishing two to five foot of water. He caught three fish. They were all three keepers. He ended up weighing eight pounds, 10 ounces. He missed a check by a pound. I think he got 38th place. I had an opportunity to catch one keeper um, right off the bat. I was flipping a tube. By the way, um, well, I'll break down what I what I caught my fish on. But I was flipping that tube around. I didn't even know there was a bush there. I was just flipping it up shallow. And I hooked up with the fish, pulled him up to the top of the water. He got caught in this bush, and I was horsing him. It was about a three-pounder. I was horsing him. He was right on top and broke my line. I should have just um, held him tight and let Robert go in and get the net on the fish. But I was jacked up. I was amped up. So broke me off, and I caught like a handful of fish. That was it. Never really lost anything that I saw that would have been a keeper. Had a couple other bites, but they were just kind of mouthing it, and that was it. They went by fast. Air temps were like 72, 73. Started out about 54 in the morning. The wind really blew today. Um, blew probably gust up to like 30 or so. It was pretty rowdy. We were going to run down the Blood River, um, but Robert decided not to do that because, you know, the forecast, the wind was going to be so bad on the way back. So we fished basically from Moores to Jonathan Creek, just that area, jumping in and out. You know, Robert fished really hard. He was moving and grooving, fishing really hard. And it's kind of just the way it goes, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm going to bring that to you. This was not my greatest tournament. Zero, you know. Um, but that's the way it goes. It's a learning experience. I'm trying to keep this channel real. You know, when I have a bad tournament, I'm going to let it go and show it to you. So congratulations to Robert for, you know, putting some fish in the boat. He did not get a check, but he got some really good points. I'm in 81st place. So there was a lot of zeros on the co side. I just kind of jumped in this. I plan on fishing. I'm going to be fishing all of the Ozark division and maybe just cherry picking one or two in the LBL division. But uh, it was fun, you know, learned a lot. The water was super stained. Um, we fished water that was probably six inches of visibility a lot of times. And the clearest water I saw was probably like a foot and a half. Water temps were 50, 49 to 50 when we started. And we did see like 57, maybe 58 in the very back of uh, Creek there, right towards the end of the day. So the water's warming up. Fish are in transition. You know, we caught, it was just a onesie deal. You know, you catch one and you go a long time without getting another bite. And like I said, Robert had three fish. They were all three keepers. And so it's not like they were stacked up. At least that's not what we found. So the bites that I got, you know, that the one that I broke off that was definitely a keeper was on a stupid tube. 15 pound test, just throwing this, this stupid tube, 3 16 ounce stupid tube. And I caught several fish on this. They were small, you know, like 12, 13 inch fish. The only other bait that I caught fish on was this little crocagator beaver bug, you know, in like a June bug color. And I had it on a quarter ounce Cumberland Pro shaky head. Had a couple other bites on this, but they were just kind of mouthing it and spitting it for me. Congratulations to Jordan Hartman on the boater side. He had 19 pounds, 11 ounces. He was on our live stream not too long ago. If you haven't seen that live stream, check it out. Really good dude. He works hard down there. And there's a bunch of hammers in the top 
29. They paid 29 places. Just loaded with uh, sticks down there at Kentucky Lake. Bill Nichols took 29th with nine pounds, 10 ounces. First place on the co-side was Blake Smith with 13 pounds, five ounces. And the final check was Noah Morgan, four pounds, 14 ounces. A lot of good co-language in there. So four pounds, 14 ounces, got you a check. Congratulations, Blake Smith, that's awesome, man. Andrew Jennifer was in second with 11.3. That's a wrap guys, give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content and please subscribe to the channel. Then ride the suck bus, that's okay, it's part of it. I'm learning a lot and I'm gonna bring the videos as long as there's some fish catches and something to talk about. I've got the BFL and the Ozark Division coming up next week, so I'll have another video coming out soon. And thanks everybody for supporting me through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Until next time. Thank you.